Hey everyone, I'm Sonani. Welcome to my new video. I ordered a few things and I wanted to show you what I ordered. It's not a lot, but a few things. One of the empty palettes I use here and there. It's from Meden. I have another one of it. You get it with half pens. Here in this case I got 14 half pens and my last one I got with a full pack of empty half pens. And you have mixing areas here and there. It's really good. I, I like them. So, and I got this Aqua Pump Soft Liner from Molotov. I'm very curious how this works because I really enjoy Molotov fine liners, Molotov acrylic markers and so on and I don't know this product so I wanted to test it out and I got this white brush ink pen from SICK from Kuretake and I have this black sketchbook and I thought this would be really nice to have and I ordered this Intensive Writing Felt Pens and I thought it's a cute thing for my sketchbooks and I really like to work with felt pens in my sketchbook and they were 70% off so I don't know, they cost I think 2 euros, I had to buy them. And I wanted to have all the time the Daniel Smith dot card. I can swatch these 238 colors. I, I can do this in a video if you like. Please tell me if you want it in the comments below. But I will do it anyways. <laughs> I will swatch them and paint a bit with them because I always wanted to know how the Daniel Smith colors are. I love my Schminke colors and I tested out some other different watercolors and I always came back to my Schminke watercolors and I heard a lot of good stuff from the Daniel Smith colors so I wanted to test them and wanted to see the whole range of colors they have so I can decide which one I perhaps should order and make a palette with it so yeah and now we come to the stars of today i ordered the core earth set of watercolors and i'm really excited because i saw them in a lot of videos and the core colors should be really good they are the core brand is from golden and the golden acrylics are fantastic so I have a big hope that these are really really good and we will swatch them today and I will test them out in a little picture I paint and yeah so I'm really excited and want to test them out so let's do this oh. I think these are the mixing areas if you open it. This is your mixing palette. What comes with the paints? And it comes with this information, which colors you can have from Core. Beautiful colors. We have raw umber, indigo, sap green, Naples yellow, transparent brown oxide, and Venetian Red. Perhaps you remember this little palette I got from Timu. Um, it's really cute and I think I will fill my core colors in here. And then I have another six for another set if I like them. As you will see in my video, I like them a lot and I decided to fill the other six with a more vibrant set. So I have them together in this okay, cute palette. So 
I find it more practical to have them in a little palette as in these tubes. So if I decide I want to use them, I just get my little palette and can start with my painting or whatever I want to do. I have to clean up a bit this mess. This is the Neapolis yellow. Oh, it was too a lot of color I used here. But though so we can test out it's very it's a very creamy it feels so creamy the mass tone is really intense and beautiful it's a really nice color Transparent brown oxide. This is a beautiful color. Oh wow, I love that color. Venetian red. So wow, this is a very intense red. Red, brown red. It's very beautiful. The sap green. It has this, it has this olive touch you know what I mean this is nice very nice oh this is what I think I want to know about them if they are if they are staining or non-staining this looks very staining but we will see. I will look at the tubes again in a minute. So next one is indigo. Yeah. Look at this beautiful indigo. Oh, oh wow. And the last color of the set is raw umber. What I always think it's very interesting, what colors you can mix with these Head colors. So uh, this is what we try out next. These are really beautiful colors with a lot of pigments in it. So let's see what for information we have here. Um, PBR7, raw umber. Why? There are no informations for um, staining, non-staining, transparent, not transparent stuff, what you always have with the colors. I can't find it because perhaps I can't find something in the internet, perhaps voiceover Xonani will tell you. What I found out is on their website you can see all the information about the transparency or opaqueness of the colors and I found out that my six colors are all staining except for the Naples yellow and the umber is also semi staining so if you are interested you can see all the information on their core website. I will link them in my video description for you. Hmm. 
Of course, I also wanted to have little swatches in my tiny palette. In this palette fits a lot of paint, by the way. These little pans are bigger than they look. And I can't wait to take them with me to paint outside. So I know what it's what is on in my little palette here. Then I wanted to know how they mix and just jumped into mixing different colors to get a feeling for my new paints. And I have to say, I really love them. What a beautiful palette of colors. I don't know. I just mixed a bit for fun. Now, I will think about what I can paint with them. So, this looks so cute. I will sketch a bit. For my painting, I used the Boahong 100% Cotton Academy watercolor paper. Perhaps you remember in my last video, I showed you my little prompt list for the 100 days of sketching challenge. And I picked one of these prompts for my painting. A cat with antlers and a forest spirit is on its back. I decided to paint the whole family of spirits and their beloved antlered foxy kitten. I had real problems to draw the cat this time. I think I have to practice drawing cats because cats are cute and I want to be able to draw them whenever I want. Then I started with my first light layer of color. In this painting I used all of the six colors to have a good overview what is possible and I have to say that this palette is well composed. All of these colors work with this earthy flair and they all fit perfect together. Here and there I wished for a more vibrant and brighter yellow, but in the end I think I didn't need it then. That is also the reason why I will expand my core paints with six more colors, so I have more possibilities. Either I will pick six colors in individual tubes by myself, or I will buy another set like the introductory six set, which includes Hensa Yellow Light, Phalo Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Pyro Red Light, Permanent Elizarin, Crimson and Burnt Cyana, or the High Chroma set, which includes Cobalt Teal, Green Gold, Crinocridon Gold, Transparent Pyrrol Orange, Crinocridon Magenta and Dioxacine Purple. You can get several sets of core paints or you can buy the individual tubes. The tubes all take 5 milliliters. There are also half pens available. These paints have a different binder. That's also a reason I wanted to test them. It's called Aquasol. It's a synthetic binder and most of the core products are vegan except for the ivory black, which pigment is made from cattle bones. I'm not sponsored by the way. I just wanted to tell you what I found out. What I have done in this painting so far is to paint layer for layer for layer and build my cuties out in the negative technique. That means that I use darker colors to paint around my main characters on this picture that they stay bright and the contrast brings them out. I almost always paint in the negative technique if I work with watercolors except for a landscape painting then I just paint what I see. The paper feels a bit strange I have to say it wasn't easy to lift the colors from the paper uh, it doesn't work at all. What I tested out 
on my normal paper as well, which I used for the swatches. And there it was possible to lift the pigments again. Also the flow was a bit of strange. I had to work very fast that there were no clumps of color here and there. On the other paper it was perfect. I don't know. This is a paper thing. The paints work really nice and the next time it will be easier to use. What you can see here is that I have to pause a day before I came back to this painting. It was a busy week and I was very happy to go on with this artwork. I looked forward the whole time. I love how the colors mix if you layer them. Be careful that you go from transparent or more brighter colors to the mass tones and darker colors. Don't start too dark. It's better to start a bit lighter that you have the possibility to paint more layers. I really like to test out new watercolor brands and new art supplies in any case. It's always fun. Oh, and this time it happened again. Here on this point, my watercolor part of this painting is almost finished and then I picked a few colored pencils for the last details and my cam stopped recording without a beep or a warning light. So all the colored pencil part is not in this video. This happens here and there and mostly I realize it, but in this case I'm so sorry. But this video is a review about these Quar watercolors and I'm happy that you saw everything of that part. I also used a white gel pen for the dots on the mushrooms and the eyes of the spirits. Here is the finished artwork. I'm happy how it looks in the end and I love the earth tones here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support. Then let's have a closer look at the painting together and have an awesome day my friends. Yours Sunani.